You know, sometimes you just got to be ready for opportunity because opportunity will make a fool out of you if it comes and you're not ready, right? And I think many of us, myself included, are not ready for opportunity. Tell you a little story. Years and years ago, I used to give away a lot of stuff on Craigslist. And I remember I had some very good inventory, but long story short, it came out of a unit that we did like $20,000 off and the stuff was just in the way. It was about $1,500 worth of stuff, but we had better stuff. So I was like, you know what? This unit has given so much. I'm just going to give this stuff away. Sounds easy, right? Well, because it was nice, clean stuff, I had the hardest time getting rid of it. People, because these were the terms, because I didn't want them like up in my business. So I was like, okay, you're going to need to come with a box truck because it was a lot of stuff. You're going to need to come with a helper. I'm not going to give you this stuff and help you load it. That's just too generous in my opinion. And also, I think I had hurt my back at that time too, so it wasn't even possible. And I had the hardest time because people wanted it. I mean, it was some stuff you could have thrown on eBay. It was some stuff you could have put on Amazon. Most people were not ready for that big opportunity. They just weren't ready for it. So it was very interesting because I had to post the free stuff at several times because you know i wanted i want i would get a bunch of replies but people just weren't prepared for that opportunity and then i didn't you know at the time i didn't really think too deep about it i was just like you know it is what it is but now i'm sitting there like why were so many people not prepared for that opportunity what was it that was just not in the cards for them. Because you would think, because you know, it was like, people don't have friends. Because one of the common things I got was, I'm waiting on one of my friends to get back with me. And I'm cool, and I said, okay, well, let's just get back. And you know, it was like a three hour wait. And it was like, oh, you get lost or something? Oh, I'm waiting on my friend. And I was just sitting there like, and this was years ago, so I can only imagine how it is today. And I was just like, people are just not prepared for bigger opportunities. You know, you, you're prepared for the low hanging fruit and you're prepared for regular stuff and you're prepared for the minutia of life, but something extraordinarily, something that can come in your life and really move the needle, change things around. Most folks are not prepared for that. It scares them. And you know, it's really, really sad, right? Because I look at what got me out of my situation, which was I had to really burn. I had to bust for a few months to really get out of my situation. And I think that's one of the things that's lacking because if I, if it was me, now I got a lot of stuff off Craigslist for free, but I was already prepared. I had the trucks, I had the staff, I can get anything. I can get a whole house full of stuff, but I was prepared for that. And I was thinking, okay, if it was me, and I actually did this in the early days of the storage auction business. We did not have a van. We did not have trucks. So we had to rent U-Hauls. And I learned early on that buying the bigger units was the best way to absorb those transportation and logistical costs. And I took that on the chin, and yes, it dug into the profits, but there was still profits and there was still cash flow because we made that big move. We made that really big move. And then, you know, I'm sitting here just thinking, how many opportunities am I letting go by? How many opportunities am I not taking advantage of? Because, you know, this is pre-recorded. By the time you see this, I will be out in San Francisco. And there's someone, you know, who is just a great person and I need her in my life. So I'm going to go drop, drop that, drop that commitment on her. Right. So we'll see how this goes. 
I'm not going to tell y'all if she says yes or no. I'm not going to tell you. you. You could just, I guess you could tell by my attitude. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity because it's right there. It's been there for the longest of times. And how many opportunities are you not taking advantage of? How many opportunities are you letting slide by because maybe you're scared? Maybe you're not ready to make that level of commitment because going back to, we've rented trucks for about a year. And a lot of people's like, that's crazy. That's too much money. It's taking too much meat off the bones. But the thing is, there wouldn't have been any meat on the bone unless we had made those big moves. So what I'm telling you is you got to stretch yourself. If an opportunity falls your way, you may have to just build your wings on the way down. Because it may not come again. It may not be that lucrative. It may not be that good. Because I don't know how many situations I got myself into. I remember, and this was actually bad. This was very, very bad. That uh, I bought this unit full of refrigerators. And I didn't know that the refrigerators were in the units because you can't throw them away. So I ended up abandoning the units. Yes, bad person. And they had to pay the extermination costs because... Couldn't get rid of them. <clears throat> and I learned the lesson before I ever bid on units and stuff like that again. And this was early in my career. This was really early. And fortunately, uh, public stores didn't have a, a ban list at that time. The list came probably six years after that. And I was just like, because I was real new. Nobody knew who I was. So it was kind of hard. That's like, because when it's like, who who left these refrigerators? No one knew because I was brand, brand new. And I bit off more than I could chew. I really did. But I didn't take the refrigerators out and just leave them on the side of the road. So they were properly disposed of. But that's something I still feel bad about today because I didn't like buying units and not being able to dispose of them properly, right? So... I'm going to make that move, and I want you to make some moves. I mean, what are you afraid of right now? What are you scared of? What big thing in your life that you could have if you would just make that commitment? Because I was sitting there just thinking today how many people it took me listing and relisting that ad to get it to the point that I was able to give this good, valuable stuff away. Because the, the terms of the deal were, you got to take it all. You can't just take some of it. I mean, you know, because this is what would have happened. If I had said, look, come get what you need, some people would have came and got the best stuff and left the trash, and I would have been left with junk. So my thing is, because it was about 90% good stuff and 10% junk. And I was like, you know what? I'm giving this away to make my life easier, to make my life better, to make my life stress-free. So... Yeah, you got to take all this. What opportunity that you had a chance to take advantage of that you did? I'm just asking. Any takers on that? Anybody got anything to commit to? Anyone got anyone to say? Because, I mean, I'm being real. Because there's so many opportunities out there, and it's just most folks are not prepared for the opportunity because they just never thought that it would come. And I'm telling you, all of you folks out there who are trying to make money online and you're waiting for the right opportunity before you get your feet wet, you are wasting stupid time. Pick something and dedicate yourself to it. Because uh, recently, my boy Roberto put out, because you notice I never went toward Facebook Live because Facebook's video has always been problematic to me because a view is three seconds or even on my phone when I had the app on my phone, like sometimes a video would be playing and I didn't do anything and that would count as a view even though I wasn't watching it. Well, it, it looks like Facebook is kind of not putting the priority on Facebook Live. Now, this isn't to say Facebook Live isn't valuable, but it does say that Facebook's probably not going to push it the way that they were pushing it. And it also fits into the narrative of what Facebook give it, Facebook takes away. Because we were talking about live around this time last year. And so I get it, wear it out, use it. Because Facebook don't do something. Here it is. Here it is. So just some food for thought. If you like the content, 
Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave a comment on this video and I will catch you folks later.